Hi, good morning. Welcome to today's devotional. Today's title is Real Authority. And you know, we have a food ministry here. We make the announcement every every um, Thursday that we have a food ministry here called Kingdom Pantry. And right now on average, we get about 165 people coming through. And so that means there's a lot of personalities that come through too. And I'm the one who keeps the, the order outside before they come in to receive their food. Now, over time, I've learned that there's rules that need to be established to keep to keep things fair and to maintain the order. Um, so the, for the longest time, I would verbally tell people what what they were, and I'd have to repeat myself again and again until finally, after much time, it dawned on me, let's put it in writing. And so now we have it in the four major languages that are spoken uh, here uh, during the, that time, and that would be uh, English, Spanish, Vietnamese, and Chinese. So now I verbally let you people know what the rules are, but I have them written down also. So um, those who forget can be reminded of what they are. And um, I can also refer them to those notes, to those rules uh, to reinforce them. When, when people get here, they usually get here, a lot of them get here before the time we really want them to. Um, and so when someone f fails to follow a rule, which is usually you can't save a spot for somebody else, you have to physically be here to, say, to have your spot. Um, they're usually told by somebody else in the line, hey, you can't do that. Hey, you can't, no, you can't save the space. Or your friends can't come in, that kind of thing. And most of them argue with them and say, well, who, who do you think you are to tell me that? Or who are you? You're, you're nobody. You can't tell me that. And so, and, and sometimes, and it's happened where they, they're actually almost a physical fight about it. That's how bad it can get. And, and most people don't want trouble. They don't want trouble, so on the, they'll tell me on the side, hey, this is what's happening, these are the people. So when I pass by and I give them the ticket at 8.30, that's when I address the issue. Now those contesting the rules know that I have authority and, and comply. I don't, as the kids say nowadays, I don't flex my authority. I don't do that. But when necessary, I gently let them know. And when resisted, I just stand firm. I know the rules and I'm going to make sure that they're followed. So I'm confident in, in, in what I know. Now my voice doesn't need to be raised because I just enforce them. They react as they will, but I'm never threatened with bodily harm. <laughs> that doesn't happen because I'm an authority and they, they, don't, they, they acknowledge that. So that brings us to our verse for today. Mark 1, reads, The people were amazed at his teaching, for he taught with real authority, quite unlike the teachers of religious law. The teachers spoke of the Lord and the religious law. What was different about Jesus? What was different with him? Jesus taught with authority because he knew he had it. He knew who he was. He is the son of God. He, he knew that. He was in constant communication with God and he knew God's voice and his will and his purpose here on this earth. Now, now check this out. Jesus said to his 12 disciples, but this is for us too. In Matthew chapter 10, verse one, it reads, Jesus called his 12 disciples together and gave them authority to cast out evil spirits and to heal every kind of disease and illness. And he specifies in, in verse eight, uh, heal the sick, raise the dead, cure those with leprosy and cast out demons. Give as freely as you have received. But you know, in that, that's that's this right here, but in, in that also is, is helping others. It's serving others, showing His love to others. But you know, we just can't do it. We just can't do it like that. Uh, Jesus' example shows us that we need to know, know what we know. We need to be confident in the authority that we have. He knew who He was. And we need to know that we're children of the Lord. We're, we're God's children. We need to walk in that authority that He's given us. And like Jesus, we have to be in constant communication with God. And we need to know God's voice and His will and know our purpose on earth. Now, I, I read that being disconnected um, from Jesus and His authority dumbs down the flow of God's power and authority that He has for His people. 
and it, I don't know about dumbing down, but it, it's not as effective because we're not operating in that authority. We could achieve so much more for his kingdom walking in that authority given to us. We don't need to flex it. We don't need to flex it, but we need to walk confidently in that authority because of who we serve. Now, are we not walking in authority? Then we need to pray for a greater understanding of God's power. You know what will happen when we do? We'll contribute so much more to his kingdom while we're here on earth and personally, we'll experience the fullness of God's abundance. God has authority over heaven and earth, but he also empowers us to do his work, to serve others, to lift others up when they're struggling. Let's pray. Dear God, I thank you, Lord. I thank you that, that you love us so much. I thank you that for your mercy, Lord. I thank you that you deem us worthy of authority that you provide, Lord. I, I, I'm just so grateful to you, Lord, that, that you have us here to help each other, to help others uh, who don't know you, to come to know you. And I, I pray, Lord, that we are those empty vessels for you, Lord God. Just every day that, that we wake, Lord, that we give you the, the glory and the honor and, and, and just the gratitude for having that day and, and, and find a way to be used by you, Lord God, for your honor and glory. That's the real authority, Lord, being used by you in, in, in for your glory, Lord. I pray, Lord God, for those who are watching. I pray um, for the families that, and friends that they represent who are in need right now, Lord God. We, we may not even know what it is, but you do. And we uplift that to you right now, Lord. I pray that you move mightily, mightily in their lives, Lord God. I pray that, that something awesome happened, Lord, that they can't help but share you with others, Lord. I pray that you keep us safe, Lord God, and I pray that, that you just be there with them, Lord God, that they feel your presence when they call upon you, Lord. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. Hi, thanks for watching today's devotional. Tomorrow is Wednesday. We have our um, Bible study happening at 7.30, and we're here. We're here in-house. If you can't make it, it'll be on Facebook Live. We also will be restreaming our service from Sunday, and um, you can, if you want to watch it again, you missed it, you want to share it with somebody, it'll be on our social media. God bless you.